Floating outside the International Space Station, the senior Russian cosmonauts are installing two cameras, which will send a constant stream of high-definition pictures of Earth, live via the Internet. From oil pipelines to volcanoes, riots to refugee movements, the Canadian company that built the cameras says all sorts of imagery will be available to almost anyone with an Internet connection. Initially, of course, we'll be selling to governments and to the ministries of forestry and farming and, and uh, agriculture, of course. Secondly, we'll be targeting uh, businesses, people who want to be able to track uh, farms, uh, uh, business intelligence, mining resources and things like that around the world. And thirdly, we'll take it, process it and stream it out over the web so the farmer can log in with their phone and get a picture of their farm taken two weeks ago on their phone. And so it's all three segments of the market. NASA, Google and others do offer space imagery now, but EarthCast and the few other companies involved in private data collection from orbit say their images will be higher quality and much more detailed, able to zoom in on a battlefield or a city square. And that does raise privacy concerns. One commentator said the rush by private companies to provide data from space amounted to Silicon Valley sending up its own spy satellites. Governments and privacy advocates say they'll be watching the new projects closely. In the end, the spacewalk had mixed results. Ground controllers say one of the two cameras is working, the other isn't yet providing quality data. It'll be several more months at least before the pictures stream from space, up close and potentially more personal than ever before. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera.